So I just did that video on healing others on the same date for those of you who are watching this video later. And I realized that that's not just true with healers. This is going to be true with um, any kind of work you're doing, even on yourself. Let's say that, and, and the concept here is that, that you should heal yourself. You should get your vibrations up on your physical body as high as you can before you reach out to heal someone else. Otherwise, when you come back to yourself, because um, you're really, when you're healing somebody else, you're really uh, locking in or um, connecting with that more spirit side of you, the more God side of you versus the physical aspect of you uh, on this planet. <clears throat> As you know, there's two different parts of you. There's a lot more than that. But for the purposes of this conversation, we're talking about the physical you and let's say the soul part of you, soul aspect of you. And you're really, in order to connect to that energy from source, in order to help heal somebody, you're, you're, take, you're really connecting to that soul aspect of you. Okay? And then you're talking about your physical body. So what the, the video said was be sure and raise your vibrations as much as you can in your physical body before you do that. Otherwise, when you come back to your physical body and withdraw as much energy from that soul aspect of you, there's going to be a disconnect and you'll have physical problems. But I got to thinking about that, and that is true with any kind of work that you're doing. So let's say that you go into a meditative state every day. And let's say you do it every morning, okay? But you don't address your physical vibration, your physical body's vibration. So you could... In the morning, get up before you get out of bed. And with if you don't talk to your physical body, if you don't assess your physical body and take its vibrations up, actually after meditating in the morning, you come back into physical body, you could have a disconnected day. You could have a disjointed day. You could have a painful day. And I don't think we've ever talked about this before. So remember that whenever you're doing whatever work that is, whether it's in the morning or the evening or whatever, Always remember to include your physical body in this transformation that you're making. Because if you are just going into a meditative state, connecting through your soul level to remember who you really are, but you don't make an assessment of your physical body and you don't include your physical body in the raising of your vibrations, then you're going to have a disconnect between those two and you're going to cause yourself harm. Your physical body is going to, to react poorly because basically what happens is if you go into a meditative state, you kind of, you're, you're kind of going out of body whenever you do that. And when you go out of body to connect with soul, to connect to the knowingness, to collect, connect to the other side, to try to remember who you really are in any way, shape, or form, you're going to collect that data, and then you're going to bring it back, and you're going to go back into the body. Now, if your soul aspect is vibrating super, super high, and you've not addressed your physical body when they come back in, it's kind of like two people that aren't vibrating closely enough that they get on each other's nerves. That's how it works. You've got to be within that that range. Remember the range? Got to be within that range. Well, your soul uh, vibration needs to be within range of your physical body as well. So always remember before you do meditative work or soul work or out of body work of any kind to always remember to work on your physical body as well. You need to tell your physical body what you're getting ready to do. You want to uh, make sure that your physical body is in a comfortable state. That's the reason why baths with aromatherapy and candles and uh, herbs and, and whatever it is that makes your physical body feel better. Music, uh, so that your physical body is feeling good, both when you go into the meditative state and when you come out. Make sure that your vibration is as close as you can get it to where you're going. So you want that physical body to be as comfortable and as, as happy as possible when you go into the meditative state.
Otherwise, when you come back out of the meditative state, back into body, the discomfort that you feel or will have or will feel shortly as you get up and go through your day or just to get up and move around and have supper or feed the kids or whatever, that there will be that that uh, clash of vibrations between those two parts of you and you will pretty much undo what you've done in your meditative state. So make sure that you work with your physical body in that. Love your physical body. Absolutely love it and get it to a very, very, very good state before you do your meditative work on the other side. Then allow yourself when you come back into the body, after you've had your meditative experience, be sure and bring that back and make sure that it's locked in solid in your physical body. Make sure that that feeling, I guess, that you have from the knowledge, the experience, the uh, information that you received while you were in that meditative state, make sure that you share it. Make sure that you give the body enough time to feel it. Bring it back with you and lock it into the physical body so that the physical body can feel that vibration, can have a piece of that knowingness. Don't just jump up or don't just fall asleep, okay? Make sure that you match those. Bring them back together into balance. And undoubtedly in that balancing situation, your soul aspect of you that went to the other side and obtained the information, the vibration, the data, the download, whatever you want to call it, it will lower somewhat whenever you come back into body, but the body will raise. And that's how you keep everything in balance to avoid your physical body um, going haywire. I think with a lot of new agers that this is what has happened, that there's not been an understanding of that difference in the vibration from when you go into that meditative state and come back into to physical where the physical body has still been vibrating low. It's not automatic. You have to, you, you have to merge them. You have to understand that these are two different parts of you and that you need to merge them and balance them to get that information and bring it to the physical so that the two of you can walk through your day or sleep well at night or walk through the rest of your day in balance, in harmony. Okay, does that make sense? Hopefully it does. Hopefully it'll help. Alrighty then, that's it for this one. Huge hugs. I love you guys so much and I'll talk to you later. Bye now.